My dear friend and Champagne fan Anna has joined me for a tour of this bubbly region. Rance is the capital of Champagne, and the king of wines makes its presence felt all around town. The secret to great Champagne actually began 70 million years ago, when an ancient sea left rich chalk deposits in this region. At Tattinger, an historic 18th century Champagne house in Rance, the chalky geology manifests itself in huge white underground cellars. These chalk caverns, known as Prayer, were excavated by Romans some 2,000 years ago for building projects. Champagne gets its bubbles from a second fermentation that's created by adding yeast and sugar to the wine. Every day, for several weeks, the bottles receive a brisk quarter turn. This is called riddling, and it moves the yeast sediment toward the neck of the bottle. The yeast is then disgorged from the bottles, a process you can witness upstairs at Tattinger. The bottle tops are dipped in an icy liquid brine. The yeast freezes instantly, and it's popped out. A dosage of wine and sugar is added to sweeten the champagne and to fill up the bottle. Then the bottle is recorked and left to age. Of course, the highlight of any Tatin J tour is the tasting room. In Champagne, you have different styles, and Tetanger is one style. Is there Chardonnay in here? Yes, Tetanger uses a lot of Chardonnay. Any Pinot That's Noir right. at all? Yes, it, we put some Pinot Noir and sometimes some Pinot Meunier, mm -hmm. but as we make, we put a lot of Chardonnay, it gives the lightness and the elegance. Do you remember the first time you tasted Champagne? I don't remember it because it was when I was born. The really? The Champagne is to put some Champagne on the little baby tongue. Oh, so what a great tradition. <laughs> In the 18th century, Champagne swept Europe's royal courts. It became known as the King of Wines and the Wine of Kings.